so far, we've looked at reading, we've looked at dyslexia, we've broken down the learning styles and strategies and the flow of information, the way information is processed in the brain. And the last thing, we've broken down reading into its six essential components and why each of these components is essential for effective reading. The last thing I'd like to talk about before we get deep into the program with specific exercises and a specific eight-week program that'll take us from wherever we are to effective reading is synesthesia probably the most overlooked concept with respect to learning. We're always talking about how something looks or how it sounds, but the truth is the way we as human beings know that something is correct or incorrect, whether it's right or wrong, good or bad, is not the way it looks or the way it sounds, it's the way it feels. When we make decisions, the final step in the process is always, does it feel right? So, feeling is essential to the learning process. And specifically, either a feeling connected to an auditory memory or response, or a feeling connected to a visual memory or response. In other words, it's a union of senses, synesthesia is. It's a union of senses, either visual kinesthetic or auditory auditory kinesthetic. And one of those is what will typically carry the day for most students. Now, as is evidenced in the classroom, most children respond fairly well to auditory instruction and they will be able to utilize an auditory kinesthetic synesthesia when they subsequently need to utilize that information for taking tests or or writing an essay or whatever whatever the case may be. But there is a group of students for whom the auditory kinesthetic synesthesia is not very powerful. It tends not to work for us or them. We can spend as much time studying for a test, we've gone over all the information, but when we actually sit down and look at the, read the questions and look at the answers, it's all kind of a blur and all the answers basically feel the same. There is a whole body of students that walk through, that go through school literally guessing on all their, on all their tests. They're literally literally guessing on every question because what they're lacking is that synesthesia. Now for this group in particular, visual reading, visual studying, visual spelling is going to be an incredibly powerful tool. It's going to be incredibly powerful. It will visual reading takes nothing away from from the auditory person who who will still benefit from the speed of visual learn visual reading if he'd like to, but the 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 visual thinker, the dyslexic, the ADD, the autistic person who can master this skill, this visual reading and visual memorization, it is very, very likely to result in a powerful, powerful access to learning in the form of a visual kinesthetic synesthesia. So I wanted to mention that just for now because it is critical. When we talk about spelling, when we talk about memorization, we're gonna talk about how does that answer feel? Does it feel right? And that's gonna be that, that, that visual kinesthetic synesthesia. That's what we're gonna be talking about. So I wanted to make sure I got that in. And um, right now we're gonna to get to our visual reading exercise. <laughs> 